Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. traveling I'm in Maryland visiting some family so I want to show you guys what I'm gonna be doing sort of tracking and traveling at the same time I wish I started this last night because I got a Wawa sandwich and I want to show you guys how it's going about ordering that sandwich but they have an online like nutrition calculator you can put in what order you're gonna have and it will show you the macros and everything which was really really helpful so I found an order that was like perfectly fixing or finishing up the macros that I had left over I'm traveling as I said um, I got here last night we're here today, tomorrow, and leaving on Monday morning. So I want to show you guys how I'm going to be tracking today as a traveler. I showed you guys my oatmeal. I always bring oatmeal with me, you guys, like no matter where I'm going. It's non-perishable, so you can literally pack it in whatever. I brought apples for my oatmeal this morning instead of the normal berries because these don't have to be refrigerated. Throwing your oats in a little bag like this can help with space issue. And then also the protein. And then these travel size legendary peanut butters are so helpful because they're so tiny you can just throw them in your bag whenever you're leaving somewhere so that's what i had this morning very typical to what i normally eat i will track that and then i'll see how much i have and go through there throughout the day i also want this to be a little bit of a, a realistic sort of vlog i want to tell you guys that my aunt made a casserole this morning and i'm probably gonna go have a piece because my grandpa's coming over it's pretty sentimental and i'm not gonna just say no because i want to look better like it's kind of messed up so i'm gonna have a little bit of that and then see where the day takes us so yeah. <gasps> Baby! Hello, Mr. Mian. I took a nugget. Okay guys, so we just finished up our little breakfast without my family. I had some of those grapes over there and a little bit of this chocolate milk cake. So my mom and I are gonna go head out to do some shopping, get some coffee, bring the dog on the beach, have some fun. It's Saturday, it's very nice out. We're gonna live it up. So we are currently on our way to go down into Ocean City and we're gonna do some shopping on this lovely Saturday. It's very nice out. The dogs are in the back. There's Co you can see Cody. <laughs> but we're also gonna run them on the beach to hopefully make them calm down a little bit and get a little, a little energy out. We're gonna get some coffee, have a little mother-daughter day. I just stopped at an organics place and I forgot to show you guys what it looks like inside, but it was super cute. So they had kombucha on tap and I got this one. It's in a little mason jar, it's so cute. And it's called Carrot Carrot Orange, that. And then they had this Bombay Bitchin Sauce, which is almond dip and lemon juice. It's fine, you can slam it. Honestly, if this turns out, if it's good, I could make this on my own. Nice. Like the ingredients are very simple. So. We'll see how that is, and then we got multi-grain chips to go with it. That's about it right now. We just got to some outlets, so we're gonna go do some shopping. Hello. Shopping. Shopping with mom's money. I have to pee. Why she's so happy. <laughs> Alright guys, 
save her little cash. Sorry. She's not talking to you guys, she's talking to me. Yeah. I just got some jeans. I need new jeans because, as you guys know, I'm on a cut and I have lost weight and I don't fit in my jeans anymore. They all fall down, it's very frustrating. And then some scrunchies because I always wear them. And that's about it. Are you, Mom? Are you hungry? I'm hungry. <laughs> So we just got back from being out for a little bit. Um, I had a tiny bit of that dip in the chips that I showed you guys, like barely anything. I'm not tracking that, I'm not tracking the bread, it's whatever. Um, I'm starving right now and I don't really know what we're doing about lunch, but I'm gonna have two caramel rice cakes in the meantime. And I'm also gonna take some of my BCAAs. I'm not even working out today, but I wanna make sure I'm staying hydrated and just giving my muscles a little bit of juice today. So I'm gonna take some of this right now, put it in my water and have two rice cakes and then we'll see what we do about lunch. Okay, so we're heading off to go get some lunch at a deli. So I'll show you guys what I get, obviously. Okay. What's up, you guys? So we just got back from our little lunch and everything. I had, as you guys saw, a sandwich. It was turkey, provolone, lettuce, tomato, a little bit of oil and vinegar on whole wheat bread. And then I also had that snow cone. It's pretty good. Um, my aunt like loves that place, so we stopped by. It was pretty much like almost zero calorie, I'm pretty sure, because it was sugar-free syrup. It was watermelon and ice, which is zero calories. So not to worry about that. It wasn't like it was ice cream or anything. And yeah, so as you'll notice, I have like bigger less frequent meals when I'm not tracking um, rather than when I'm tracking I have a lot of smaller more frequent meals so that's basically it now we're just gonna chill hang out and then eventually go get dinner it's been a fun day so we're off we're gonna go over into town go to a bar hang out get a couple drinks with my family have some dinner listen to a band and come back and go to bed so I don't really know if I'm gonna bring my camera I probably won't just because I don't know if it's allowed in but if I don't I'll let you guys know what I have when I get back, and that will basically conclude my day of eating. I haven't really eaten a crazy amount of food or anything. I wasn't on track. I wasn't tracking anything, but I was just being mindful of the fact that I'm on cut right now, so I'm not going overboard. You guys can do it too. I believe in you. What's up, you guys? It's now the next day. I just wanted to fill you in on what I had for the rest of the day yesterday. I ended up having fish tacos, a little bit of my friend's, or sorry, my aunt's food. I had a couple drinks, and then we went to go get ice cream, and that was my night. I basically treated yesterday like a little bit of a refeed. Refeed basically just gives your body a little bit more energy for your lift the next day, and also shocks your metabolism a little bit, so it makes sure that you're not damaging your metabolism while you're in a deficit. I can definitely go into more depth about refeeds a little bit later on on like in a couple weeks or a couple days or something but that's basically what it was and what I treat it as and now I'm getting ready to go lift legs and I'm hoping I'm gonna have a really nice workout after all those carbs yesterday and yeah I'm talking really fast that was basically my on track day a little bit more laissez faire than um, some people do it but that's the way I do it that's the way that works best for me and maybe it works best for you but now also i just want to show you guys i'm drinking beyond raw lit i've heard such great things about this so i'm having some of this before my leg day this morning i also want to show you guys a little physique update after a cheat i think people think you're gonna gain like a hundred thousand pounds after you cheat this is me from the front standing still i look exactly the same as i did the day before my cheat so nothing has changed overall and i'm just gonna get back on track now like you don't have to cheat and then be like i messed everything up i'm just gonna go have a cheeseburger now you know you just get right back on track i had oatmeal again this morning and we're back to it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video my puppies also say they hope you enjoyed this video so have a great day love you guys so much Mwah.